Hey guys, how's it going? The Soulful Lockpicker here, and welcome back to this week's Locksport update. This is a really fun video series that I do every single Saturday, and it serves as a really great place for me to update the community on everything that I have been working on, and also serves as a great place for the community to update everyone on what they have been working on. As always, if you have anything at all that you would like to see shared next week, please drop them in the comments section below, and I'd really love to try to share it. To start off this week's Locksport update, I would just like to share a few things with you. The first thing that really stands out to me is I just cannot believe I have just reached 40,000 subscribers. That is such an incredible feeling. It is so cool to watch my channel grow every single day and just being able to interact with everyone. It's just so interesting to see that so many people are interested in all the things that I have to say. And I just want to say thank you again to everyone that has been supporting my channel. A few things for my channel that I'm going to be working on is I want to keep working on my Locksport update videos. I always want to keep working on my lockpicking homeschool videos. I also want to try to put in a few different things just to switch it up. I enjoy doing some product reviews. I have one product I'm going to do in a little while, which will be these multi-pick um, top of the keyway tensioners. These are really cool tools. I want to keep doing some more videos using my Kronos gun. I get a lot of requests from that. I know some people think that I overdo it sometimes, so I've been trying to tone those down a little bit, but I do have a lot of fun utilizing this tool and just any other videos that come up in the between time. But one thing I'd like to share this week is Huxley Pig has just reached out to me and it is really cool. What he wants to do is he wants to send me a new set of tips for my silver bullet. This is the silver bullet that I purchased from him a little while ago. I currently have it set up for the um, front tensioning setup, but this one you can do front rear tensioning and it also has his custom alloy bits so you can get into a lot of the more difficult alloy locks. What he sent to me in an email is he said that he wanted to make a tip for me that will be compatible with his anchor loss modification. I'm going to be honest, I'm not 100% sure what that means right now, but I'm going to read up more on it and I'm definitely going to accept the tool. I'd really love to be able to expand this as much as I can, so when I get more into disc detainer locks, it's going to be something that is going to be just ready to go and I'm so excited to get started with them. I've had some success in the past, but I haven't been able to really dedicate the time. But anyways, if you're not familiar with Huxley Pig already, you should make yourself. He is a lockpicking guru, he's the Abloy Slayer, and he's just been one of the really great motivators of Locksport. He is such a skillful, talented guy, and not everyone that is, you know, beginning in Locksport knows about him, because he's not one of the bigger names for someone that's first starting out, but he definitely should be more known. So his channel is Huxley Pig 69 and what I'm going to do is share a quick clip of a video he made recently. Okay, so what I am picking there is, well first up, I'm going to pick this particular abloid profile. I don't have the key for this. Uh, it's what I used to call right bump and it's got an outer tooth on the back disc which is on the left hand side. Um, this is the worst of the abloid profiles in my opinion to make a tool for because, no, scratch that, this one's one of the best because the 90 degrees that you have to work in is uninhibited except for the tooth at the very back. The bad ones are it's this one. This is the, the really nasty one. So this is the 90 degrees that you've got to have your tension and pick in and you've got a lump the profile there which chokes off more space. Um, I was going to do an unboxing video but I screwed up the video on the unboxing and you can only really do an unboxing video once. So instead I'm just going to pick this lock. I'm using a universal abloy profile pick. Most abloy profile picks that exist out there you'll have different tensioners for broad groups of profiles. This one I've engineered so that it one profile picks one tensioner picks all profiles, all the ones out there with one exception, and that exception is this rather interesting beastie here. So this is what Abloy used as the safety deposit boxes. As you can see, it's got an outer tooth at the front. This one also has a, an outer tooth at the back as well, and no inner profiling. 
Now the interesting thing about this is this front profile disc is fixed, so this ensures the key is fully inserted before you can turn it. And yeah, see, and you've got this cut out along the key to accommodate for that tooth. You also get this profile where the front disc free spins, so you've got the outer tooth there on the outside, but the front disc just spins on uh, gambling machines and casinos and that sort of thing. This profile requires another tool, I'll put it in air quotes, and I will make that tool soon and do a video of it, but let's say you're in the field, I'd be very tempted just to get a small needle file and just go and just file away at that outer tip. Thank you so much for checking out Huxley Pig 69 At the time of filming this video, I haven't had a chance to watch the whole video, but by the time this comes out, I will have seen it. I always enjoy all of the content that he makes, and I really highly recommend that anyone check him out. He is such an all-knowledgeable guy, and just such a great guy to get to know. If you'd like to check out his channel more, what I'm going to do is put a link on the top here so you can check him out and consider subscribing. And part of the theme of today's video is I'm just going to stress the fact is how cool it is that there's so many more channels just getting into disc detainer picks. When I first started Locksport a few years ago, these were the mystery locks. There are really no tools out there. No one really knew how to accomplish them, and there are only a select few. Huxley has been slaying them for quite a while, but it is starting to become a little bit more mainstream to pick these, which is really cool and a very progressive thing. So what I'm going to do is share a few channels with you that are really into picking disdetainer locks currently. The first channel is going to be Daz Evers. Daz Evers is a really great guy. He makes some really great custom picks, is always skillfully picking up picking open difficult locks, and he's a great channel to check out. So what I'm going to do is show you a clip of him picking open the Avis Plus 8850 padlock with a custom disc detainer pick. Okay guys, so next up we've got the Avis 8850. Uh, this has got the Avis Plus core in it, as you can see the plus sign there, and of course it's complete disc detainer lock with 11 discs in it. Uh, nine discs actually, sorry. Um, and then obviously this one here is your zero um, your zero cut disc, obviously, which is where attention's from. Obviously, you've got butterfly discs top and bottom. I'll leave some pictures up in the corner there. Um, and then, of course, you can tension bottom or top of these uh, locks. Um, and then, of course, once you've got everything into the true gate, obviously, you just need to find your zero cut and uh, counter rotate the uh, butterfly disc to actually get it open. Um, so, wonderful, wonderful locks. Um, I did the Avis 8840, I tensioned off the bottom um, with a cheap Chinese modified pick. This time we're gonna go slightly different actually. I've uh, built this one from uh, from the scratch. Uh, no Chinese bits in this one. I've got a 20 mil uh, aluminium uh, handle there, um, just with a uh, eight mil hole. So eight mil tube going through it, six mil tube going through that. Um, and then I've actually drilled a hole uh, in the eight mil tube so I can actually uh, change these tips around so I can either have a longer nose, shorter nose. Um, I've actually done it in such a way that I can actually have um, an Abloy classic um, uh, pick tip in it as well, um, so I can actually tension from the top or bottom with this one, um, and then the, the injector pins for actually uh, actually using for the picking tips on this particular one. So yeah, it's come out really, really well actually. Got a few ideas from uh, Ian Smith, I'm gonna leave a link for his YouTube channel off in the top corner there, um, and of course some of the other ideas which have come up myself. Um, so yeah, so it actually works really, really well as you'll see. Um, so yeah, so uh, obviously we're gonna tension from the top, um, and then sort of go through the disc stack, and then of course once we get it picked, of course, I'll show you all the discs inside. Okay, that's good. Just testing now because uh, everything's in a gate. So I just need to um, make sure we don't over. Okay, that's good. And there you go, we're open. So not too bad, actually. Three and a half minutes, not too bad with that. Quite happy with that. Tell you what we do, we'll take it apart and I'll show you all the discs inside. A wonderful locks to pick, they really are. I really enjoy picking the uh, Avis Plus um, cores and obviously the spacers are all exactly the same. Um, they're just very, very fine little spacers to uh, obviously make sure that you can only rotate one disc at a time. Um, and that's it, so there you go, I hope you enjoyed that. Um, and uh, I'd say pretty much, obviously, they're very similar to the Avis 8840. Um, certainly to pick, they're, uh, you know, they're just great, great fun uh, to pick. 
Um, listen, I hope you enjoy that, guys. And of course, I'll be catching up with you very shortly with another lock. Listen, take care, guys. Thank you so much for checking out Daz Evers. If you enjoyed what you saw and you'd like to see more content by him, what I'm going to do is put a link on the top so you can check him out and consider subscribing. He's a really great channel and a really great guy to get to know. The next channel is going to be Albert Level. Albert Level is another really great channel. He really enjoys picking challenge locks and he's really gotten into picking disdetainer locks and customizing his own tools to get them open. So what I'm going to do is share a quick clip of his channel opening up the Kryptonite U-Lock Disdetainer Lock. All right, y'all, it's Big Allen. We're back with uh, another episode of Stock Lock Sunday. Uh, this time around, as you know, we've got this uh, kryptonite U-lock. All right, so first thing we're going to do is take all the discs. All right, a little tool I fashioned up for doing this. Take all the discs and rotate them as far as they'll go clockwise. Okay? Okay, we're going to grab that last disc. Now, this is going to be the tricky part. Normally, I don't have the camera in my way. So, I'm going to go down in there. To the last disc. Try and find it. Nope. Down in there to the last disc. Okay. All right, you got the last disc. Okay, now we're going to try to start picking. There we go. Lock is open, just like that. Pretty cool, right? Thank you so much for checking out Albert Level. He's a really great member of the community and he's always picking open very interesting and challenging locks. He's a great member of the community to get to know. And if you'd like to see more content by him, what I'm going to do is put a link on the top here so you can check him out, consider subscribing. I highly recommend you check out Albert Level. The next thing I'd like to share this week is going to be Lock Mania. He has been a really great supporter of the community. He's always sharing very great channels for me to share in these update videos and he's just a really great channel. He has just reached 600 subscribers and I just want to say big congratulations to you. That is such a great feat and I really enjoy watching your channel grow every single day. Lock Mania is such a great guy and I just really recommend you check him out as well. So what I'm going to do is put a link on the top here so you can check him out and consider subscribing. Lock Mania is a really great guy and he is just such a cool channel to watch grow. Now then, the last channel I'm going to share with you is just going to be something different. The channel is going to be Lock Picking Newbie. He's just made a video with him singing his song while picking a lock. And that's just something different. I'm going to share that with you right now. What shall we do with a drunken picker? What shall we do with a drunken picker? What shall we do with a drunken picker? Lie in the morning. Bend his picks till they look like pretzels. Bend his picks till they look like pretzels. Bend his picks till they look like pretzels early in the morning. Hey o, oh, up she rises. Hey o, oh, up she rises. Hey o, oh, up she rises early in the morning. Thank you so much for checking out Lock Picking Newbie and his song, What Shall We Do With a Drunken Picker? If you enjoyed what you saw and would like to see more content by him, what I'm going to do is put a link on the top here so you can check him out and consider subscribing. Thank you again to everyone that checks out these videos every single week and is able to share in the comment section all of your updates. If you have anything that you'd like to see shared next week, please drop it in the comment section below. But either way, that is all I have for you this week. If you have any questions or suggestions, please drop them in the comment section below. If you enjoyed this video and you'd like to see more like it, please subscribe. As always, thank you so much for checking this out, and I hope you all have a great day, and I cannot wait to see you in the next video.